Hi everyone, I'm Bill and I have cancer. Uh, this is the second update I'm giving you. Uh, I'm still here. Uh, I want to say a big thank you to everybody who's seen the vlog and who has responded with messages of support. Some good people, good friends that I've known for a long, long time and uh, it's so nice to hear from you. It's such a shame we haven't kept in touch generally, but anyway, something like this can draw people together and I'm very grateful to you all. Thank you so much. It means a lot to me. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to quickly update you on the chronological side of things, what's happened so far. Um, quickly then, uh, 29th of August, that's when I went to the doctor uh, for um, the initial rectal examination. Not pleasant, but just go. Uh, I had a blood test in the same afternoon and that was pretty much normal. The very next day I had to go back and give a poo sample. That wasn't very pleasant but uh, it was okay and if you're wondering how that works it's not as bad as it might seem. It's not like you have to go in with a, a huge deposit. It's only a scraping and it's uh, not too difficult to do. Okay I know this is warts and all but some of you might not know how it works. Um, 6th of August, so about a week after I first saw the doctor, uh, I got a phone call telling me there were significantly high levels of blood in my poo and that I would be referred for a colonoscopy. I was starting to get a bit worried at that point. 15th of August, uh, I had the colonoscopy at the Princess Royal Hospital and that's where they discovered the tumour in my bowel. Um, when I was given the news, my wife Helen, she was with me and that was quite upsetting because at that point we, we both realised it was, it was cancer um, and they said that they'd taken a biopsy and it would take six or seven days for that to come back but it's pretty obvious that it was malignant. Anyway, uh, I, at that point also I was told I was definitely going to have to have surgery. Um, 20th of August, that was the day I went in for MRI and CT scans to to scan my whole body, see how bad the problem was, and that's how they stage the cancer. That's where they see how far it's spread. You could be uh, gray, uh, level one, two, three, and four is, is the worst. Um, and then on the 26th of August, which was a couple of days ago now, um, it's actually our 32nd wedding anniversary. Not the best way to spend it. We went down to have the meeting with the colonoscopy surgeon, uh, the colorectal surgeon I should say and the clinical nurse specialist who's going to be looking after me during the process. Uh, we were put in a little room and it was all very emotional as we were told the outcome uh, which I've already updated you on yesterday. So yeah not the best day but when we left the hospital we did feel positive. We had a good old we had fish and chip supper uh, that night and we, we had a few drinks and, and, and actually when I did the first vlog yesterday I was hanging a bit uh, and to be honest today I feel good. Today we are having a roast lunch and we're going to have a few drinks and this is going to be a bit of a last hurrah because I reckon that's probably going to be it for a while. I'm not going to be drinking and uh, enjoying food and stuff like that so it's going to be um, yeah probably a last hurrah today. Anyway so thanks for your support. I've got to say look I've been reading this. I was given this by the um, by the uh, NHS, very, very informative. Don't know if that comes out back to front. It says understanding rectal cancer, Macmillan Cancer Support. Fantastic, brilliant bit of literature. Really interesting reading, tells me all about what to expect. And uh, I can only say thanks so much to the NHS for what they've done so far. Anyway, that's it. Thanks a lot, everybody. I'm, I'm hoping to keep these messages a bit more punchy, but now you've got all the information, and each time I do it now, hopefully a bit shorter, just telling you really how I feel and what's going on. Anyway, bye for now.